everybody, it's Jenny here. I'm here today to share with you my 2016 design team project for Tsunami Rose. Um, I chose to use Charming Fragments and Rose Azure along with a couple of the ephemera packs with pieces I thought coordinated well with the kits. For the cover of my journal, I used a 6x9 clasp envelope. Um, I went ahead and did a envelope um, front. So right here, this has actually a magnetic closure. And this envelope came in um, with the kits and I folded it and it just fit perfectly there on the front. And then I layered some of the pieces that I really liked. I used seam binding for the closure. I did use uh, Wink Estella, as you can see, if you can see the little bit of shine there. See that? Um, I also use it up here for charming. So in the pocket, or the envelope rather, I just put, if I can get them out, just put a tag that I hit with some um, glimmer mists, and then I put a piece of coffee dyed journaling paper. Okay. So right here on the first um, side, I just have a couple tags that go right here in this pocket. And then I um, use a lot of the little cutouts that came in the collections. Another tuck. I did some homemade embellishments with um, the scraps that I had left. As you see, some of them um, are really pretty. I love some of the pictures. This is just a little bow paper clip, and this just opens up for a journaling space. And then here's what I'm talking about. There was a homemade embellishment. I thought that was really pretty. So I went ahead and util utilized that scrap into there. Just another piece of um, the ephemera in a pocket here. I did uh, print on some acetate, so I thought those would be really neat little hidden journaling spots or, you know, just you could do whatever you'd like with them, really. The images in these kits are just beautiful. I will have a link to Daisy's Etsy store in my description. And right now, all of her kits are half off, so that's an amazing deal. Fussy cut some of the decoupage flowers. These, Im these images are just, the colors are just perfect. Here's just a tag here um, with some seam binding. Just a um, belly band and then a stopper. And then up here, I just have a couple pieces of ephemera. Oops, <laughs> lost that one. There it is. I'll also have links to um, my blog I am going to become more active on, as well as my two Facebook, Facebook groups, Paper Crafters United and Handmade Embellishments and Altered Items. So you can find those in the description as well. Uh, this is also hit with the Wink Estella. And then some more ephemera pieces and cutouts. You really get a ton with these kits. There's a, I love that little bird. I cut them out there. Another piece of acetate. Here I have just a um, pocket, and then I have some more pieces in here. There's also another piece of acetate, ephemera. Another one of those bow paper clips just opens up for some additional journaling. Here I have made a pocket and I folded one of Daisy's um, journaling cards and then just another piece of journaling paper. It wasn't just a piece of notebook paper that I coffee dyed. Here is a tag I made and then some more of her cutouts. I just can't say enough about this. Um, these papers and the colors. The colors are just so vivid. When you print them out, you're almost like, oh. <laughs> There's another beautiful piece of um, 
her paper that I went ahead and made into an embellishment. Some more of the, and that's beautiful. And these papers again, stunning. And this is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite um, piece right there. Bourbon whiskey. Another pocket with some more of those beautiful, beautiful pieces of ephemera. Another little bird embellishment. And over here, I have another piece of her ephemera and then just a journaling card. And in the back cover, I have two tags. And then up here, just another piece of ephemera. My shadow got there. And then the back cover. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is my first design team project for Tsunami Rose. Um, again, all the links will be in the description box. So make sure to check them out. Thank you.